Hey, good morning, everybody. So today, I'm gonna be using the, pronounce this one right this time, the Choya Cactus. <laughs> With the, uh, so this is a deranged donkey pour, Choya Cactus. It's really cool, so as you can see inside, it's clear, but then when you hold it up against something, uh, maybe a little bit darker, there we go. It's not quite clear, so it's a super cool pour. Uh, so deranged donkey turned by Milton as usual and it's got his 26 millimeter fan tip knot uh, this thing is absolutely amazing so you can see the tips are extremely jelly let me just give them a dip just so that you can really see the gel so absolutely amazing um, if you're a fan of just like really soft really plush knots uh, that is a great knot for you Razor for today, I'm gonna be going with the Max Sprecker Blue Power 8 8 Quarter Hollow Barber's Notch Blue Power Scales. Absolutely amazing. So I went with the green and blue for this soap. I'm gonna be going with Bear Serum Man Behold the Whatsis. So this is um this is an LE. I think Barrister Man is making this until April. Um, I, I believe a dollar from the soap and two dollars from the splash go towards a charity that's meant to help um, with like, I think kids getting books or something along those lines. All I know is it's a charity, it's a good cause. Um, and that's really awesome. So the soap scent is, uh, listed down here so grapefruit rose childhood memories um so those childhood memories are uh i think it's sugar cookie and fresh sheets out of the dryer uh it's really uh an awesome scent so off the tub i get a very citrus forward scent i get a little bit of the rose and then if you know you kind of put it in your head you think about the sugar cookie yeah, you can definitely pull the sugar cookie out. Um, the sheets out of the dryer, though, that's a little, it's a little harder. I think, I think it's supposed to emulate like a warm cotton or a linen-y scent. So, that's a very subtle scent, but oh, yeah, this this smells really good. Uh, so I'm just gonna get loaded here. So this is in Barrister and Man's new Excelsior base which is just fantastic. Uh, I think this is the first time I'm reviewing Excelsior on my channel. Normally I'm, yeah, I did Baudelaire and Vespers for West Coast shaving. So yeah, this is the first time I'll be using Excelsior on my channel. And uh, Excelsior is just absolutely amazing stuff. That's the load I'm gonna go with. You don't need too much with this soap base. So, just gonna wet my face, take, I only have a little bit of excess on the tub. Set that down. And, get it going. Hope everybody has been doing well. This is a really awesome scent. Yeah, I kind of start getting the sugar cookie a little bit more. Uh, so once it's lathered, it almost kind of smells along the lines of Declaration Grooming Sweet Lemon um, because you have that citrus and the sugar cookie. So 
it's bordering on that kind of scent, but the rose kind of helps uh, keep it from smelling exactly like that. But man, this stuff is great. Don't know if you could tell how much I had in the brush. Wasn't really a lot. Too bad. <laughs> Annette was trying to be sneaky. Alright, so I'm just gonna paint some water into here now. This stuff can take an incredible amount of water. But it's also really easy to, uh, to dial it in. So you don't, it's not, um, it's not a thirsty base per se, because for my definition, a thirsty soap means you need a lot of water in order to get it, um, good enough to shape with. So that's to me what a thirsty soap is. When I talk about soaps that have a uh, a large water tolerance. I normally refer to that as water band. So, at least for me, there's a difference between having a thirsty soap and a soap that has a good water band. So like the uh, glissant formula from Barrister Man, I would describe that as thirsty. You do need to add a lot of water to that. Uh, same with the reserve base. You want to add tons of water to that stuff. And especially reserve. I think reserve is the best definition of thirsty because, one, you don't really need a lot of soap. And then it takes all that water to get it dialed in. So if you used a normal load with it, you'd be adding water to it all day long. Just gonna finish painting in some water. All right. Looks good to me. And I'll get going with the razor just here in a second. So, I kind of touched on this in my West Coast shaving video with, uh, forget which soap, but it hasn't come out yet. But, um, I talked about why I like face lathering and, uh, and why I like to use cold water while I face lather. And that's because when I face lather with cold water and uh, I normally use cold water because it is pretty hot here. But the other reason I like cold water is because when I have the lather really well hydrated, I can feel the coolness of the lather on my face. So before I have as much water as I want, the lather will sit on my face and I, I won't really feel any of the coolness. It'll just kind of feel room temperature. And then once I get it properly dialed in. I really feel the coolness of the lather on my face.
So if you haven't tried cold water, uh, give it a try. I actually, um, I just prefer it. I just like my face to feel nice and cool. Yeah, this stuff leaves your face feeling fantastic. Get some coffee real quick. And just because I know it'll be all right, I'm actually just gonna give this a little dip. And this stuff really just has a magnificent sheen to it. This is, this is just an excellent shave. Sorry, I was quiet that past. Just <laughs> really, wow, really enjoyed that. Uh, I just really love this soap base. That is very good. just saying how I like to use cold water as opposed to warm water because uh, once I have the lather like well hydrated it feels cool so that's how I can really tell
finish up. So the reason I might have not been able to do my chin against the green like that might have been user error because now I can do it. I'm really trying to focus on rolling the, uh, the edge with my face. So before when I couldn't do it, I might have been using too open of an angle. So that's, that's my fault. So, you know. You still are always developing technique over time. If you haven't tried a soap in the Excelsior base yet, definitely need to try one. Unfortunately, there are only two out right now. And, uh, well, three potentially. I don't know if Vesper is, in, is uh, still in stock. I know it was a seasonal, but um, if you can find it, I really like that scent. which is currently out of stock at West Coast Shaving, but they should be restocking it soon. And then this one. Yeah, it's really nice. Cut open a couple of bumps, but that's okay. Aside from that, nothing else. Feels really good. So of all the Barrister and Man bases, this is definitely the easiest one to use. I think the next easiest is probably glissant, as long as you keep adding water to it. With reserve, I, I'd say I probably rank reserve um, hard to use if you don't. Um, if you don't catch anybody's review on it. Okay. Because uh, reserve, if you load too much, you're never gonna get it dialed in. So going with the aftershave, uh, this is in Barrister and Man's new Deltas formula. So uh, I use this with Baudelaire. It's very good, although it's alcohol based, very moisturizing on the skin. Oh yeah, so the scent is also kind of similar, or pretty similar, to uh, Penhaligon's perfume called Luna. So, if you have a Penhaligon's around you, 
then, I mean, don't get me wrong, this isn't like a super feminine scent, I wouldn't <laughs> say. The masculine but, version of Luna. Yeah. Which you have, right? Mm -hmm. You gave me a sample. Oh yeah, I have that one. I think it's called Endymion. Maybe. Yeah. But yeah, super awesome. Yeah, I'm getting kicked out, so no recap. Hope everybody has a good one, and I will...